Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to another exciting Blender tutorial and today we're going to be looking at uh, chroma keying or background removal or green screen removal in Blender 2.8. Yeah, so I have this footage that I recorded uh, yesterday and uh, you can see it's just a blue screen and uh, me walking around. There is no lighting, nothing. It's just, uh, yeah, just I, I use the light, nothing very special about it. So that's what we're going to be keying out. Uh, just so we have a transparent background we can use in our scene. Uh, so to start working you need to change your layout to composition. Uh, so just click on the composition and uh, you can now start working with the nodes with the compositor. Uh, make sure you have use nodes turned on so that you can use uh, the nodes or access so that you have access to the nodes. Uh, you want to drag your footage and drop it directly into this node uh, area uh, you can see now we have the footage so it has it comes with uh, a few settings here so you have image alpha depth uh, but uh, we only we don't have our any alpha channel right now uh, from this image because as I said this is this was recorded uh, from a camera uh, so I don't have any alpha channel to use here so uh, but uh, the frames here uh, we have a few other options here frames start frame offset side click and uh, auto refresh so auto refresh just enables you to preview the footage as you're scrubbing through uh, the timeline or just playing through the timeline. But uh, because my footage is a bit uh, heavy, it doesn't uh, preview directly here. Direct yeah. <coughs> uh, also, if you want to preview your footage uh, as a background in this area, just add a viewer output. So shift A output a viewer, and then you can connect this image output to the image input of the viewer and uh, you can preview uh, that footage directly behind uh, your nodes. Now to zoom out your nodes, uh, to, view, to zoom out your footage, you can hit V to zoom out and Alt V uh, to zoom in. Or you can go under view and then fit to available space uh, to fit your footage into the available space. You can also drag the footage around by holding down Alt and then uh, holding down the middle mouse key as well to drag your footage around. Uh, so those are some of the footage, the options you have. Uh, so in the viewer, sorry, the footage uh, node, you can see we have a few settings. Image, alpha, the image just outputs uh, the footage. Alpha outputs uh, the footage alpha channel. Uh, that is a black and mask, black and white mask of the footage, uh, indicating where the alpha channel is. But uh, since our footage has no uh, alpha channel, we don't have uh, an, an alpha. Uh, channel output so uh, same with depth our footage doesn't have any depth but if it had we would be able to output that I uh, also have an, a few other fr uh, s options here I uh, can see the frames option is just see is just the number of frames your footage has so if your footage was one minute that uh, that is me that means that uh, uh, depending on the frame rate you are recording in uh, that means that uh, frame rate times uh, the number of seconds you have in your footage to get the uh, actual footage. I'm just going to use something random here. So I think it would be something like 200 and 500. I don't know. Just putting that. And uh, the f start frame is just the start frame. Uh, the offset is, uh, you can see right now, my footage is playing back, but uh, we don't have anything here for almost, uh, for almost 100 frames. So if I want uh, to start, to offset uh, these these empty parts, I just use this offset so that we start somewhere. Our timeline starts somewhere where there is some action. So, yeah, I think I can start there. Auto refresh just enables you to kind of preview uh, your footage while you're playing back. And again, uh, my footage is a bit heavy for my computer to to play back in real time. So that's why you see yeah, I can't really. So let's go in into uh, the green screen or blue screen screening uh, removal. So let me first increase my timeline. Okay, so yeah, we can start keying. So to key this out, you just need uh, a keying uh, node. Uh, so just shift A and uh, you should find uh, all the kings, king, I don't know how to call them, king nodes uh, under mat. So if you just go under add, mat you will find all of them here so there are quite a few options you have you have chroma key and uh, the way you the way it works you just connect the image input to the image the image output of the footage to the image input of the chroma key and then the image output of the chroma key to the image output of your viewer or compositor uh, the compositor is what you have when you're rendering uh, is what you render so if you want to render out the footage 
you'd have to connect that to uh, the compositor. But uh, for viewing, just for the preview, I just have to connect it to uh, the viewer node here. So you can see we're just keying out uh, the white area instead of the blue area. So uh, to select what you want to key out, you just select this color picker and choose uh, the color you want. You can see we're already cutting out a few, uh, a lot of the blue. And uh, but so we are, you c we still have a few issues here going on. So uh, this might not be the best key uh, to use. So there are quite a few of them. So let me just take you through all of them. Uh, we have color key. It does the same thing as chroma key, but uh, you see, you, you just have different settings. Uh, we have, um, I think, what what else? We have keying. Uh, this is what I used in the original version of the of the the demo or test I showed. Uh, we also have we have luma key. This just only keys out uh, the bright the brighter areas of your key. But uh, let's use what I used, which was this keying node. So let's just disconnect this. Maybe just delete them. So again, connect the footage image output to the keying image input, and then this to that. You can see we are already keying out a few things. So then you just pick the color like that. And now uh, you can see we're not seeing a lot here, but uh, if you hold on control shift and then click on the node, you can toggle between the different outputs of this uh, node. Can see we have edges, we have image, we have mat, and uh, the mat will just show you the mask you're using, uh, the mask, the output mask of uh, the king node. Uh, that that can be fed directly into your alpha to preview uh, the alpha channel. So because right now you can see if we connect the image, we are not seeing any alpha channel. But uh, if you want to see the alpha channel, you just connect the mat directly to the alpha so that you can start seeing uh, the alpha. Right now our king is not really keying out a lot. So uh, what I've found to work very well is that uh, you first sample the color you want to use. You can see it is removing some of the blue, but uh, we still have a lot of uh, kind of garbage uh, uh, screen in the background. So if you change, if you come in here and start playing around with the color, you can see how the keying gets better and better you can see now that's much better than what we had before and uh, again if you remove this match to alpha connection ah, actually uh, if you as long as you have this alpha checked uh, you, sh you, you should be able to see the alpha but uh, if you don't have that checked you won't be able to see the alpha and uh, i've used of uh, after effects for king and i think blender is really more powerful than after effects in my opinion because uh, I you, you see just I just only played with one value here to get uh, this king, and I think it looks not the best, but uh, it does a need a little bit more work. But uh, yeah, it's it, it's good enough. And uh, uh, these results were just without any lighting. So imagine if you had a rim light behind here to kind of break out, to kind of separate the foreground from the background, you'd get a better key uh, than what I'm getting here. And uh, also, if you played with uh, with these some of the settings here so you can see the output of our mat uh, this is the alpha output how uh, that is producing the kind of alpha here uh, you can play around uh, to see how let's see you can see this area here let me see if there is a lot of blue yeah I think yeah I think there is purple so that's getting keyed out so yeah avoid anything that is the same color Avoid wearing anything that is the same color as what you're keying. So that's why that you see that is being keyed out. But uh, yeah, you can go around and play around with these settings a bit. So if you have some, let me just add some spill here, blue screen. So if you want to say cut out these parts here without necessarily um, without kind of uh, changing the color here, you can play around with the screen balance and you can see that should also remove some of the uh, it should also remove some of that uh, mat or whatever it's called but uh, anyway that's how you key out uh, a blue screen and uh, or green screen or chroma key and uh, if you want to output the final image uh, the final output you just add just add another output uh, file output 
and uh, connect this directly into uh, the file output node and uh, select where you want uh, the file th the files should go and uh, export uh, then you can bring that into uh, by export I mean just hit render and mention to, to render out the final output so and uh, yeah if you want to bring it back into blender you just open up a new project I already exported or rendered out a sample of that so I'll just bring it back here just to show you how it would work you just add a plane like this and uh, let me sub uh, split this so that I can have the shader uh, <coughs> then you would add a new material to this and uh, add a text a texture uh, image sequence and uh, find uh, the location of your chroma key or your output I will just select this import make sure that uh, the number of frames are equal to the number of frames you want to use for your animation for your outputs uh, then you connect this directly to the color to the base color let me just preview this here make sure you have auto refresh turned on okay uh, make sure that your object is scaled and uh, has the right pro aspect ratio now to see the alpha you need to feed this alpha input, sorry, alpha output to the alpha input of uh, this here. And to preview it in your viewport, you just have to go to the material settings and turn on alpha blend. And, uh, now you can add this to any scene you want, like a bead in this Colido, sci-fi Colido scene. Let me just, I guess I didn't save, did I? Give it a few seconds uh, to you can see how I use this. It's a bit slow, but uh, I guess that's okay. Yeah, so that's how I use that. Just placed the plane inside there, and uh, that was good to go. So thank you for watching. Uh, that's how you do chroma keying in Blender 2.8. And uh, yeah.